fighting Alex McGowan. I'm fighting out JMTK, Wichita, Kansas. I'm fighting on EFC 4 at the Kansas Star Casino. Um, October 1st, pro debut. My opponent, Jimmy Van Horn, he's very experienced. He has a longer track record in amateur and obviously professional fights. Um, he has over 30 plus fights, which is a lot of experience. I only have six amateur fights, but I won six and in quick six quick finishes. But I really don't think he's an experience going to factor too much because I know I train with the greatest team. I have great training partners. They'll make sure that I'm uh, fully physically and mentally prepared for everything that he has to offer. And I really think that gives me an advantage. Yeah, he has his experience, so he may go in there thinking that I'm um, going to go in there wild, but I guarantee you that it's going to be a quick fight between him and I, and I'm going to come out on top. It's something I wanted to do a while back, but um, one of my old coaches wanted me to take one more amateur fight, so I did that to be able to please him. Um, I stepped up a weight class, just like how I'm doing my pro debut again, and uh, fought a very ex um, very strong and talented uh, fellow up in Omaha, Nebraska for victory fighting championships. Um, I ended up getting a second round of guillotine. So the decision to go pro after that, it was a pretty easy one and such. And the preparation I made is I made the move over to Jane TK with world-known fighters such as Chris Harris, David Caveman Rickles, we got Ty Clark, Brandon Phillips, very well uh, good strikers and overall MMA fighters and a lot of good guys that are in my weight class to help me prep for this fight. I really feel like I have an advantage in every uh, department. Um, he's very good with his jiu-jitsu. He's very tricky off his back. I've watched some of his fights where he's uh, very sneaky with the arm bars and triangle chokes. But, you know, I trained with at a <clears throat> Fox Fitness that produced a couple of world champions in jiu-jitsu and whatnot, so I'm very knowledgeable there. And uh, with the type of strikers that I train with nowadays, I don't think his striking is going to be able to keep up with mine. I'm going to be too physically strong for him. He will not be able to take him down. If he tries to pull guard, I'll walk away and let him stand back up and knock his ass out. I play out the fight in my mind daily. It's constantly running through my mind. Especially once when I knew I was fighting Jimmy Van Horn, that was the only thing that's been on my mind ever since. Uh, the way I would see this fight playing out is he's going to come out, uh, since he took this fight on short notice, he's going to come out and try to take me out in the first round with some type of submission. But my card is going to outlast him. I'm going to put the pace on him. I'm going to outwork him. And I'm going to get that TKO or knockout. Fans can expect a quick and exciting fight. Um, they know I come to fight. My, my track record proves it that I'm a finisher. I don't believe uh, any fight should ever go to decision. Um, no fight should, literally no fight should ever go in the hands of the judges. If it goes to the judges, you're doing something wrong. Just, I come to finish, I'm coming to knock this dude out. I'd like to give a shout out to all my fans here in Wichita, Kansas, my uh, friends and family that's been supporting me, my team over at James K, my striking coach, Andy Zerd, him and I put a lot of one-on-one -on -one time together to be able to get ready for this camp. Even with the switch of opponents, him and I are very confident in the outcome of this fight. I'd like to also give a shout out to my uh, team that was out at Fox Fitness for all the preparation they helped put me through. And I'd like to give a shout out to my sponsor, Supplement World, for help keeping me ready for this fight. Thanks.